Hello my loves! So today I'm coming to you with a, a video that I have been wanting to record for a while. The what's on my iPhone 6 Plus, which, oh, I could just kiss this thing all day. I love this thing. From someone who was using the 4S to going straight to the 6 Plus, it was kind of a big adjustment, but I uh, have gotten used to it and I love it. actually lucky enough to not have to wait in line for this. My boyfriend knew some... Here is my baby. My Apple iPhone 6 Plus in the silver 16 gigabytes. I actually, my first review on it was that it was big and that's what everyone's saying. It's too big, it's too big, just get the 6, it's too big. Something you're not used to but just like anything else in life you've got to get used to it and then you've you know, once you're used to it. I don't even remember what the 4 felt like, you know? like It definitely took me a little bit to get used to, to tra transition from the 4S to the 6 Plus, but I really like it. I would suggest anybody to, who is, you know, contemplating the 6 or the 6 Plus, just go straight for the 6 Plus, honestly, because it's, it's really cool. It's a really cool phone. I really, really like it. And I am not one of those techie people. I just, I really like it. The camera is amazing quality. The, um... It's got really cool camera effects, slow motion, HD videos, and the battery life lasts a lot longer. So that's also a real big plus that the 6 doesn't have. The 6, they didn't improve the battery much. So let's get right into my phone, and I will show you all of the apps and everything else. Okay, everyone, so I'm just going to jump right into it and show you guys what is on my 6 Plus. So the lock screen. Sorry, I can't really fit the whole phone in the frame. But the lock screen looks like this, just has the time, and then it has my uh, lock screen background, which is, just says, F five points to live happily. Know that after all, life is simple. Do not comp complicate it. Be generous in your thoughts, deeds, and things. Remember that things go according to your karma, whether you like it or not. Humbly obey the law of the universe. And be positive under any circumstances. So that's my lock screen. And... Sorry about my ratchy nails. So then, that is my first slide of um, apps. So the first line, I just have Snapchat, Safari, Calendar, Weather. Then I have Clock and MapQuest instead of and MapQuest instead of uh, Apple Maps or iPhone Maps, just because. Um, I really like the MapQuest better than the um, Maps. I don't know. I really don't like Apple Maps. It just doesn't work well for me, and it doesn't talk to you, I don't think, so I don't like that. I have notes. I have my music. I have my email, um, my Instagram, which I have Sophia Ritchie. Um, I have uh, Rachel. Let's see if I can find HRH Collection, uh, Lily Galici, which I love her, Maria Menunos, I'm recently, and then I have my Twitter. I have Afterlight, which is the only um, photo editing thing that I use. I really like this. I think it costs money. Um, I think like a dollar ninety nine or ninety nine cents, but I really really like this for editing photos. That's uh, how you get like the, let's see, that's how you get like the sides that everybody gets. Or whatever. So that's that. I have Tumblr, which I love Tumblr. Love, love, love Tumblr. Ooh, Ariana Grande and Jay Brooks. And then I have Pinterest, which I'm a Pinterest addict. I get recipes from there. I get DIYs. I get outfit ideas, quotes. Um, I really, really, really love Pinterest. And then I have my Pandora. I have my NFL app, which I'm a huge Eagles fan, so I like to use that to keep up to date with just the Eagles. Other than that, I'm not a big sports person. Um, just that. I have my DD. Dunkin' Donuts Perks app, oops, which gives you perks if you go to Dunkin' Donuts a lot, like buy three muffins, get one free, usually it has a lot more than that, I don't know what's going on with Dunkin'. 
and you just show that to the um, person at the register and they'll give you your discount or whatever. I have, uh, what is this called? Affirmations, which I have anxiety, so um, I don't know. And even for people who don't have anxiety, this is a nice app to have. It just gives you a nice uh, positive affirmation every single day. Like today it says, I am unique. And then I have a little games um, folder. And the games, I don't really play a lot of games, but I have a, uh, let's see, this is like a baking game you own. Yeah, Emily's Wonder Wedding. You just, you know, plan her wedding and stuff. It's fun. <laughs> just when you're in the waiting room or something and you need something to do. And then this is Snake, which is really cool. Um, for anyone who had one of these old school cell phones and Snake was the only game, <laughs> it's kind of cool. It gives you the, like, the old cell phone and the old Snake. It just kind of makes you feel like you're in the 90s again. I don't know. And then this is an app which I just downloaded. It's new. It's called Vivino. Actually, I don't know if the app is new, but it's new to me. It's called Vivino, and it's for anybody who's really into wines, who's of age and really into wines, it's a cool app because um, I never have really been into wines before until I met my boyfriend. If you are drinking wine at a restaurant or at a friend's house and you're curious, curious to what it is, what year it is, what kind of grapes are in it, you take a picture on here. And it tells you how much it costs, the year it is, what um, kind of foods it pairs with, other people's ratings, where you can get it, um, uh, the no flavor notes in it, and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people just really don't care, but I thought it was a cool app to kind of get more into wines. And then I have these, this Essentials app, which is just like a... Um, adulterate. Adulterate. It's just like a dictionary app, and I choose, I try to, when I remember, choose one word a day and just try to broaden my vocabulary and try to use that word during the day or remember what it means so that I can be fancy schmancy and have a wide vocabulary. I don't know. And this is, um, the next app is Yumly, which is really cool for people who are, um, like to cook. Just has a bunch of recipes, kind of like Pinterest, but it's all food. And if you like something, so say I like this, which looks really good, you just put it under your snacks. And what's really cool about this one is it tells you how many calories, it tells you the directions, and then it tells you the number of ingredients it needs for the recipe. So, that's really cool. I have YouTube, of course. I have WhatsApp, so if anybody's interested in that, it's, um, it's just a... Uh, like a texting app that you don't have to pay for. It's free, so if you know you have friends in other countries, you can they can download this app, and you guys can talk for free. And then over here, I have my Fitness Pal, and which people, yeah, everyone knows what that is. I have my Extras, which is all the stuff that you can't delete that you wish you could. And then I have my Ellen app. I love Ellen. I watch her every day at four o'clock if I can. And you can sync her app up with the show and like see what's going on backstage during the show and see like behind the scenes videos. Today Mario Lopez is going to be on. I have to watch that. Um, so I love Ellen. And then down here I just have my phone, my camera, and my messages. So that's pretty much it. The um, background is just one that iPhone already had. It's like an ocean. And yeah. So that was everything on my iPhone 6 Plus. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if there is an app that you guys think that I would be really interested in, comment down below and I will download it and see how I like it. So I will see you guys all in the next video. Mwah.